Yo, what's going on guys? Expo here. Today's video, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about the 4th of July event inside of Tapping Legends X because I do seem to be getting quite a few questions on my last video that I uploaded on um, where do you get certain secrets from? How do you get certain vials? How do you grind out stars? How do you do more damage? So I just want to go over this with you guys and show you guys a little bit and make it a little bit more understandable for those of you that are still wondering or just maybe hopping into the game so you can have an understanding of what you need to do and how to efficiently grind it so with that being said guys let's go ahead and hop straight into the video okay guys so first off you're gonna spawn in you're gonna be at spawn just turn around go through this i mean i'm pretty sure this is pretty self-explanatory but you go into here and when you come in here you'll start out at zero of everything now what you're gonna want to do this is what I did when I first started. At the moment, it's not gonna like be a very good example for the sole fact that I've already grounded a lot. But you're gonna wanna go around here and you're gonna wanna break these little piles of 100. Now you can see for me, it gives me 1.84 million when I do that. But for you, it's gonna be a lot different if you're just starting out. So you're gonna go around here, you're gonna break those, um, the little ones, until you get 100 stars. Once you get 100 stars, I would highly recommend coming up here and getting at least one of these pets. And once you get one, um, like I said, obviously the pet stats are gonna be different because I've been playing this event for a little while now. But you can see certain pets have this star multiplier, meaning that when I have these two on, for example, these two secrets, this secret is a 10,000 star multiplier, this one is a 5,000 and so, so on and so forth. So the better the pet, the more multiplier it's gonna have. So the starting out pets will be kind of like this right here that you're looking at. So you're going to want to put them on one at a time and keep breaking crates until you can get at least a full team. That's what I would do. I would recommend opening this egg right here until you get a full team um, of pets or maybe one or two. And then coming over here, whichever way you want to do it, if you're breaking them pretty efficiently, then I wouldn't. Uh, you don't have to get a full team, but it does make it a lot easier and you get a lot more. So another step that I kind of forgot to mention in the very beginning when you are breaking the crates, you're going to want to go into your inventory and you're going to go down here to damage multiplier. What this is going to do is going to double your damage to what you do. I would highly recommend popping this. It's going to make your life so much easier. This does work on the crates. So if you come up here, as you guys can see, we just a few taps and this is gone. Like I said, this is going to be way different for you because I've been playing for quite a while now. So once you have some pets going and you have a good amount of stars, you're going to come over here and you're gonna to wanna to start buying the star's damage right here. The star's damage is the only way you do damage, no matter how good your pet is. Yes, if you look at the, like for example again, the secret up here, this secret, which is, you know, you can see 52 billion and it has 10,000 star bonus. It does no more damage to the crates than a pet like this would do, like with four stars. The only difference is, is the star multiplier. Your entire damage comes solely from this right here, the star's damage. So you're going to upgrade this in order to do more um, damage to the crates and to the chest and uh, whatnot. So my recommendation, if you can do it, would be to get this to at least 100. And then once you have that to 100, you can start breaking this big chest over here. And this will take a little while. I'm on PC, so I have the um, advantage of having an auto clicker. So if you're on mobile, I do understand it's going to be a little bit more difficult for you to do. But I'm pretty sure it is still doable. You can grind more of the smaller chests if you want. But like I said, I would try to at least get my damage to 100 before I even start to think about going over here to this. We're also in a time to star event right now. So this is a great time to be grinding and getting all of your stars up and, you know, getting up there so you can AFK the eggs. So let's go over here and go over, look at the 2x star game pass. Now, I do have this on my account. You don't have to get it, but it does help quite a bit. So if you, you know, if you can afford it, if you have enough tokens, you know, pick this up maybe. But if you don't mind grounding and if you only have, you know, like one or two accounts you're going to run, then I guess it doesn't really matter because at the end of the event, we're going to lose this and it's just going to be, you know, 299 tokens down the, down the drain, I'm assuming. I don't know if they're going to, like, if someone's going to give us something after the event's gone but I, i'm sure we're just gonna lose this and it's just for the event so you know put that in consideration if you want to get it if not don't worry about it so now let's go over 
the star vials. Now you guys can see this costs 25 elixir and I have 247 and it lasts for 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's basically a double stars. So you can have the double stars event, this popped and the double star game pass if you want. With just these two, you can grind your accounts up pretty high. I've grounded a bunch of my alts up without the game pass. I only have like three accounts with the game pass. As you can see, we have half our accounts over here on the big egg and half over here. But let me go ahead and show you guys where you get the elixir because I've had some questions and some people wondering, um, should I get this elixir or where do I get the elixir? So let's go over ahead, go over here, go to the teleport, go to spawn. So once you're in spawn, you're going to run down here. And there's this big pink machine called the Extract Insane Boost and Elixir. So you walk up to it, it's called the Extractor. And you just start buying whatever you can afford. So I'm not going to buy anything. Well, I'll get this and show you guys. So you can see this right here for 523 billion, we would get three Elixir and then a plus 1% boost whenever I grind fall tokens. So if you look up here at the top left, my Elixir is 247. We click this, it is now 250. For you, if you're just now starting to get stuff, this should be a lot cheaper and you should be able to afford to get quite a bit. So that is how you get the Elixir to get the Star Vials. So let's go ahead and go back over here and we're gonna go over a few more things. Um, let's go over ahead and look at the event pet in the um, shop as well. In my opinion, if you don't have Rainbow Godlies, this is worth to get because it is a 3,000 star bonus. I'm pretty sure I have some in my inventory. Let me see. Yeah, right here. So they are 9.9 .9 billion damage. And then um, a 3,000 star bonus. So you can see the Godlies are 4k. So if you don't have any Godlies yet and you can afford this one, I would recommend getting that because it does help quite a bit when you're just starting out. So that is a worth it pet in my opinion. Plus it's an exclusive, so you wanna get it just to have. And then, so we're gonna go over ahead and look at both of the eggs. This one over here is the cheaper one. It costs 100. And this one over here costs 125K. So dependent upon how much you've grounded, you're gonna need in the billions to AFK this egg for a good while. And this one you'll need in the upper millions. So from the lesser egg, this contains the secret that I have here. It's called the Glory Liberty. It is a one in 50 million chances of getting uh, the pet to drop. And this one over here contains the Freedom Eagle, which is a one in 100 million. So AFK, uh, Grand, whichever egg that you can efficiently hatch. I wouldn't recommend, you know, you can get this in a few times if you're just trying to get better pets. But if you're going to AFK for a long period of times, hatch it, whichever one, you know, you can efficiently do without running out of tokens very quickly. So um, with that being said, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for today. We went over pretty much everything you need to know, I'm pretty sure, uh, over the event. I hope it helped and it clears up some confusion you guys may have had towards the event. Because like I said, we did get quite a few questions asking... Um, how do you do this or how do you do that? So I just wanted to go over it and show you guys how you do it and how you can, you know, clear up the confusion. And I hope to see you guys get some secrets. Also, I just want to say happy 4th of July to anyone that does celebrate it. And I hope you have a great day and you're having plenty of fun with your family. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.